Today I'm going to share with you a very unusual antique Indian club from our collection. And it may not look very special to your eyes, but it is one of my personal favorites because of the story and history connected to it. Now, about a year ago, I saw these listed for sale in England, and I immediately noticed a few unusual things about it. Uh, first of all, it's in the shape of what is known as a scepter, a type of British club with a long and slender shape and with the weight concentrated towards the base uh, and completely rounded off on the bottom. And to give you an idea, here is a standard antique British scepter. However, unlike the vast majority of British scepters, which have a pommel in the shape of a button, like this one, these had round spherical pommels. So that immediately caught my eye as being unusual. Upon much closer inspection, we noticed some irregularities in the shape, which indicate that these were hand carved, okay? Which is highly unusual because the vast majority of clubs from the 19th and 20th century are lathe turned. And when you do see the very few that have hand carvings, it's usually for ornamental purposes. In other words, it couldn't have been done any other way but by hand carving. However, uh, this one had no ornamentation. It was designed to look as much as possible like a lathe turned club and almost does. Uh, the carver did a great job, except for these very tiny irregularities. So the big question is, in an era when lathes and woodworkers were available in almost every town, why would someone go to the immense trouble and huge amount of extra time and labor to carve a pair that tried to mimic the appearance of lathe turned clubs? So after purchasing these, I recontacted the seller and asked them if they knew anything about the club's history or provenance and they told me an incredible story. They explained that these clubs had belonged to their relative, a major Thomas Johnson Rousen of Liverpool in Lancashire, England, who was born in 1909 and served with the 9th Coast Regiment Royal Artillery during World War II. And at some point during the war, he was captured and interred as a prisoner in a Japanese concentration camp. Uh, in Chung Yi near Singapore. His nephew's wife related to me uh, in a message that he, quote, traveled extensively in the Middle and Far East. He was also a POW at Chung Yi. The clubs would have been with him and so are well traveled. As far as I know, they have not been to the USA before, end quote. I was not able to find much online about him except an account by another prisoner in that camp which mentions that the place was absolutely barbaric uh, and that Major Rousen was the only officer they ever saw who helped the enlisted men in the camp uh, and that he gave their surgeons money to obtain medicine and care for the wounded. Now, it's not known if he actually made these clubs in the camp or while stationed somewhere else. But it must have been somewhere extremely limiting or primitive and remote if he could not access a lathe and went to the extraordinary trouble of carving them by hand. Uh, they are very well made and well balanced for a pair of scepters, so I think it's unlikely that he commissioned them from uh, a local foreign carver. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm certain these were carved by a British person or someone intimately familiar with British scepters and how they swing. That's about all I have been able to find out so far about Major Rousen, uh, though I do know he passed away in 1988. Uh, my wife cleaned and shellacked these clubs to preserve them. They were quite dirty before we got them, but as you can see, his name still appears very faintly on these clubs. Uh, a precious bit of history, uh, in my opinion, and hopefully a treasure that will last for a long time. If you'd like to know about how to actually use British scepters, I highly recommend that you visit the YouTube channel of Harry Alec, a true master of the scepters, who has been swinging them since the 1940s, and who learned the manner of their use from his father, a club-swinging champion and World War II veteran. Harry has an excellent series about scepters on his channel, and he still posts new videos from time to time. You can see a link to the first of Harry's scepters videos right now at the top of the screen, and also in the video description below. So please give his channel a look and support Harry. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.